Hi everyone, welcome back to Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. I uh, have to apologize again for not having a video out last week. Um, as I mentioned, I was having trouble with my computer. It was getting way overloaded with all the video work that I'm doing. And I did buy an external hard drive, but I crashed that accidentally. Um, my fault, but I did crash it. Um, I'm hoping that I haven't lost a lot of stuff because of that, but uh, I haven't been able to figure that out yet because my new computer didn't come with a USB port, so I can't plug in some of the other things that I saved some of my stuff on. So anyways, <laughs> it's um, crazy days for me. I'm trying to get ready to move. I will be out of my house uh, mid next week, probably Wednesday, and... I will be full-time in my van at least until October 1st when I move into the house that I purchased with my sister. So anyways, I guess we'll just get on with the video. All right, I'm trying to get organized for my move into the van. I've got all the containers in there that will hold everything. You think it's gonna hold all this stuff? All right, here's a look from the other direction. It really looks like a massive amount of stuff. I sure hope that I can fit it in my van. I'm also in moving mode, so... I've got stuff piled up everywhere. I haven't been able to reach those shelves. That's why they're still looking somewhat ornamental. Messy desk. Well, the table just went out the door, my table and four chairs. I bought it new in 1986 and now it's gone. It's a little bit sad getting rid of a lot of stuff. I mean, I am gonna be moving into a house in the fall, but I don't wanna store everything and it's time for some new stuff. So out with the old, in with the new. My dining room table just left probably about half an hour ago. It's really hitting me. I'm leaving this place. I've been here for 30 years. I'm really excited about van life, but wow, this is, it's getting real. I'm gonna start loading some of my dishes because I did buy some dishes for my van specifically. I got these, a couple of drinking glasses, a couple of really big bowls, so I can pro I've can. i actually used those to serve popcorn, um, but you can also use them for soup. Uh, really cheap. These stuff, I bought um, three knives, forks, and spoons each, two cups, bowls, and plates at Walmart, and it was uh, right around $10, so I thought that was pretty good. This I've had for years. My mom had it for years before me. I just thought it might come in handy as a wash bowl or something, so that's gonna go in. And then the two plates. And I think it's always handy to have, you know, plastic uh, Tupperware stuff. A little cutting board. And I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago. This is my my Joe, and it actually makes coffee from the coffee pods that you use for your Keurig. So I'm really looking forward to being able to use that. Okay, I think that's enough for this load. All right, I forgot to add some stuff yesterday, or I added some stuff to my van yesterday, and I forgot to add it on video because I kind of want to put everything that I'm putting in so that you see what I've done and where I'm putting it. So just in the crack behind the two banks of drawers, I put my new solar panels. That's what's in the bubble wrap. I still haven't taken them out or tried them or anything. And I'm also storing my window covers 
for the back windows. The front ones will go in the front because I need to um, put them in while I'm still sitting up there. Otherwise, I can't reach them to get them in. So when I pull up to a place, I put the window covers in the front right away, and then I'm done. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. So I also put my sort of toilet area in. That um, wooden box, I don't think it's going to stay there, but I found those in my backyard. So I might find a spot to use those. So I've got uh, a pee bottle, kitty litter, my luggable loo, the shortened version that you'll, you can see in another video, my first van tour video, and then my toiletries box, which has toilet paper, um, a vinegar spray bottle and a, bottle and a plain water bottle. And then I also did a video on my new um, shower pump. So that's what's in the collapsible orange bag and that's where I probably will keep that. Here's what I've been using for my garbage. It seals nice and tight. It's a kitchen waste bin. I think it's sort of meant for stuff that you're taking to the compost. So it presumably seals quite tight. So it keeps, if I can't get to the garbage right away, it'll keep my uh, garbage from smelling up the van too badly until I can get, get there. So that one's the garbage. Okay, one other thing that I'm gonna slide into the space behind the drawers are these gutter covers that I sort of introduced in a different video as well. They slide into my windows, uh, the two sliding door windows, and they're bug screens, so I can have the windows open but still have screens on. I'd like to paint them black, but I think that might cover up all the screens because my van is black and, you know, just to keep things pretty. So they're gonna slide back in here too. Here's another tip. This is something that I do with an outdoor picnic tablecloth. It's just a plastic tablecloth that I lay down. This is where my wheelchair is parked. I should back up so you can see. This is where I park my wheelchair when I'm driving and when I'm in the van um, for the night and I bring my wheelchair in. But the wheels are always dirty and so I park it over top of this tablecloth to keep the dirt from getting everywhere else in the van. And then when I want to transfer in, because I actually transfer from my wheelchair to the floor there, I lift it up and transfer onto a clean floor, floor so that I'm not getting all dirty when I transfer in. So that's just a little, another thing that I've figured out. Okay, you probably can't tell, but it seems like everything has shifted forward a little bit here. I guess it's all right there. Uh, and this is sitting crooked, so I need to move some things around and brace the drawers because they're slamming around like crazy, which I knew they would, but I just hadn't gotten around to fixing that. I'm gonna do that now and I'll show you how in a minute. Okay, I've put a stick in there to keep the drawers in. It's hooked by bungee cord down here, wrapped around here because the bungee cord was too long, and brought it around and hooked it on the shelf below there. And that's to keep the drawers from sliding out while I'm driving. I don't have anything. The drawers go the other way too. I don't have anything on the other side. Uh, hopefully this will work, but the next time I go out for a drive, we'll see how much they bang around going the other direction and whether this actually stays in place. Guess we'll find out. I'm another step closer to um, my moving day. I had a boarder that was staying in this room. She was a, a woman who lives in her van and it got kind of cold, so she came and stayed with me for the winter. She moved out yesterday. So this room is empty except for the table that I'm <clears throat> using for when I need a desk space. So that room is empty, so I feel like I'm getting closer to uh, getting things done. Let's walk around and see how things are going in here. This is my den. It's one room that I haven't even really started to tackle. It's starting to look empty regardless because my desk went. So there's still things to do in there. In a way, I feel like I'm just moving the piles around. This doesn't look as messy as it did a week ago. 
but that's a pile of things that need to go into my van. Hopefully it will all fit. I'm gonna work on that a bit today. There's some empty boxes and containers that I can use for packing, although I have hired packers and movers. And then in there is my bedroom and it looks the same as it always does. Not much has changed in there except for some of the furniture that I've got rid of. I was just sitting here doing some work on my computer. Okay, maybe not work. Maybe a little bit. I was watching some YouTube videos of sailing. And I happened to glance up. I'm in, uh, first of all, let me explain. I'm in a little empty room at the front of my house or the back, depending on which way you look at it. Um, this is the room that my boarder was staying in. And she moved out a couple of days ago and so I moved this table into here so that I could use it as a staging station for packing and whatever. I also have some bookshelves back there that I'm trying to get things organized with. Anyways, like I said, I was, I looked up from watching my videos and there's my van sitting in the driveway, carport, and I'm just thinking that's my home. Pretty soon where I'm sitting in this little make-do office uh, is not going to be my home anymore. That's going to be my home. I was just thinking that I would post that.